thinking about visiting Keystone Ski Resort in Colorado this year? This is the video for you. We're gonna be taking you around Keystone, showing the slopes, showing you some dining options, showing the mountain, talking about all the good things that make Keystone amazing. Plus, we're gonna sprinkle in some mountain facts for you along the way. How rude. I'm Anna. And I'm Adam. And we're gonna be your virtual tour guides today. Our tour starts over at the River Run Gondola here behind us. That will take us all the way up to Darkham Mountain. Right across from the gondola though is the ticketing office, which is open 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day for your ticketing needs. Keystone is located about 70 miles from downtown Denver and 90 miles from Denver International Airport. And if you do plan on driving to Keystone, they have four parking lots. The River Run Gondola, which is not only free, but also our favorite lot, and you can walk to the River Run Gondola and the Summit Express Lift. Mountain House, which is a paid lot, but you can walk to the Discovery Lift. And they have two free shuttle parking lots. They have the North Shuttle and Power Line. For the shuttle bus, it runs about every 10 to 15 minutes. All right, y'all clipped in? Oh yeah! All right, bro, let's do it. <laughs> so off in the distance is North Peak, and that's where we'll be taking you next. And that's one of our favorite peaks to go riding on because the conditions are fantastic and the runs are amazing. Speaking of Keystone Resort, there is the epic Mountain Express shuttle that'll take you door to door to your hotel. And it is not just for Keystone Resort, it'll take you to the other area resorts as well. If you're an epic pass holder, you can get 20% off. So Keystone has 3,000 skiable acres with 130 trails, over 20 lifts. 12% of the train is rated as easy, 39% as moderate, and 49% as difficult. If you're a new skier or snowboarder, don't let that scare you. There's plenty of opportunities here for you to learn. Speaking of learning how to ski or snowboard, they do offer lessons. They offer beginner, intermediate, and advanced ski lessons for both adults and children. And if you are a season pass holder, you get 20% off your lessons and 20% off your ski rentals. Like here. And one of the cool things is you can pick up your rentals either ski side, like here, or at one of the village locations, or you can have it delivered to you. We are heading down Durkham. Durkham is 11,640 feet tall and has the longest run in Keystone at three and a half miles. And there is a reason why we save it for the very last because usually our legs are done before it and they are definitely done right after. Plus there's food after this. For sure. <laughs> it has some green runs, mostly blues, the Turing Park, and a couple of black runs. So we're gonna go ahead and scurry on down so we can get to the grippage. Um. There are a total of 14 restaurants here at Keystone. And we are about to eat at the crepe stand. I ordered pesto tomato mozzarella and Adam got the chicken barbecue with pineapple. We are so stuffed. We're gonna start heading back. And if you're not ready for your ski or snowboarding day to be over, Keystone is the only resort in the area that does offer night skiing from 4 to 8 p.m., typically on Fridays and Saturdays. I think sometimes Sundays too, from what I saw. And the season for that ends sometime in March. If skiing and snowboarding is not your thing, they do have the world's largest two snow forts. They also have a gym, spa, sleigh rides, ice skating, and tubing. They do offer 20% off your, um, if you are a season pass older, holder, or at one of the village locations, or you can have it delivered to you. Wanna do it again? No. River Wandala, <laughs> River Run Gondola. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> River Runda Rondola. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Now I'm recording. Key no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll tell you when. Dude, it's so freaking hot. Oh. oh my god, look, my legs are so pale. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed this video or you know somebody who is coming to Colorado specifically to ski or snowboard this season, please share this video with them. Most importantly, we'd love to have you tag along our adventures with us. We do a lot of different travel content, so please, please, please hit that like and subscribe. It makes such a huge difference. It's free to you, so helpful to us, and we will see you in the next adventure. Bye.